<laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to our mega modded survival. I am currently cruising around my base in my brand new ATV, baby. Oh, yeah. Feeling like the Master Chief. Oh, on a side note, who else here is hyped for Halo Infinite coming out later this year? Oh, my gosh. But, guys, no, we're not here to play Halo. We're here to play Ark. Guys, welcome back. Oh, gosh. It's been a crazy week. It's been an insane week. We have so many new dinosaurs, and this isn't even all of them anymore. Oh, and, we, and we, we've now started collecting vehicles as well. But, yeah, we've uh, we've been on an absolute spree this week, taking down Pugnation bosses, taking down Four World Myth bosses, uh, summoning... Hold on a second. Let's head over to what I call Myth Mountain. Summoning Myth Dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, and I had to go ahead and get rid of my dragon because he would not stop following me. The guy's obsessed. He's like a stage one clinger, dude. Where is he? He's over here somewhere, but he will not leave me alone. He keeps trying to follow me and I had to like, no, no. Okay. All right. He, he saw me. He saw me. And of course he's, he's right on over here. Yeah. I have no idea why, but this guy will not stop following me around. I eat my whistles. He just ignores them. Maybe his ears are blocked with all of that giant metal clumped around his head. I don't know. Uh, but now I've just gone ahead and done it. So this is my new pet. Uh, he protects me. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know. Just, just keep your distance, okay? I'm going to teleport back to base, and hopefully you don't follow me. Fingers crossed you don't follow me, because I ain't got room for you. I, ain't, I can't handle that guy floating around following me everywhere. But welcome back anyways, guys. So, I've uh, been collecting a few Paradise Souls. I want to go and take on a new uh, Paradise boss very, very soon. Um, well, not a new one, but a second of the four. Also, this guy here. I forgot that you've uh, followed me over to the base. I don't know how this guy got through the teleporter. Uh, oh, I can fly you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at him with his little floaty swords. I'll get you down from there, though. Um, but yeah, I've been saving up souls. I don't think we're ready just yet. we still got a few souls to collect, but we're getting super duper close to taking down the second of the Paradise bosses, which is going to be super duper exciting. Um, but before we get any further into this video, I got something very, very special to share with you guys. You guys may remember one of our old tamed dinosaurs. We tamed him up a little while ago. On the mission, on the quest to see how strong uh, we could make a dodo. In fact, I don't know where he's gone. Oh no, Mr. Quackers. I'm looking for Mr. Quackers. Where did he go? Come play dodo. Where's Mr. Quackers, buddy? Come on, you guys are alike. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have like a sixth sense to be able to locate Mr. Quackers. Oh man. When am I gonna learn? I really gotta put trackers on my dinosaurs. Uh, anyways, Mr. Quackers has been updated. Yes, he has. He's been upgraded, I should say. He is a machine. He's been given some long-needed attention by the mud developers of the Paradise Mud. The only thing is, I don't know where he's gone. Where did you go, Mr. Quackers? Where did you go? Oh, man. Oh, well, there goes that idea. Ah! It is what it is. Anyways, maybe we'll stumble across him later on. We'll have to wait and see. But after last episode, I actually uh, went through my inventory, scrapped a bunch of stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff we didn't actually end up checking out, like these turrets, for example. We, for some reason, got three turrets dropped into our inventory upon defeating uh, the four world dragon, dark mode boss, whatever his name is, the, the clinger guy that was just following me around. Oh, and now we've got 1,580 myth dong wing bells as well, because I break down a piece of armor. Oh, those two chest pieces. I broke those down and we ended up with 900 more pieces. So we can pretty much summon up anything now. So that's crazy. But I wanted to see what these turrets are all about. And I should probably be careful about this. Just because last time I summoned in like something like this, it kind of destroyed my base. Or it destroyed all my dinosaurs at least. But hopefully these are actually friendly. So let's, let's just summon one of them in and see what happens. So these are turrets. I've never used a tech turret before, but you can turn them on. And I guess they defend your base. Um, they target only survivors or tamed creatures. Why would I want it to target tamed creatures? No. <laughs> I'm assuming it means enemy tamed creatures. Uh, change targeting from only survivors. Okay, here. To only wild creatures. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I guess I got to load it up with bullets, though. I don't know how you... I don't know what sort of ammunition you meant to, like, put in these things. Uh, but what do the other two look like? We could almost, like, prop these along our... Oh, this one looks different already. Hold on, here we go. Are you always oh, just a little bit bigger? I feel like we're playing like um, Clash of Clans or something. We're upgrading our, our turrets. <laughs> uh, and then the third one is like this. Uh, all right, so we literally have three different types of turrets. Very interesting. I think this guy here is the strongest one. 
Um, I'm pretty sure these are meant to be like admin only. So I don't even know why we have them, but we got them. I guess that's that's all that matters. Uh, cool. Cool Roonies, baby. Cool Roonies. All right. Well, let's go. I got a lot planned for today, or at least a lot of things to look into. Uh, I wanted to do, do, oh, well, I don't know. Do we look into this thing? There's so much in here that we can do. We can also head down into our little transmitter down here because I had a little squeeze of this a little earlier. Uh, we have a lot of myth dinosaurs currently in our world. It looks like they are finally decided to like join us. I still want to know what this four world guardian Titan is. Never seen it before. Have no idea what it is. I, I recognize Dragon Sparrow from a different series. Um, but aside from like a lot of this is kind of whatever type stuff. It'd be pretty sick to find the myth manticore emperor that actually might be the guy we've already tamed up the griffin emperor would be pretty cool the dragon queen i want to tame up the crystal basaltic emperor but we can't ever seem to find one of those in our world unfortunately the king kong general is that what we tamed up last episode i don't know but uh, oh the keeper of the mountain or is was that the king kong that we took down already i don't know okay no no that's the wukong crystal wukong i'm pretty sure we got one of those anyways we've actually got some new bosses that we haven't taken down just yet i'm pretty sure this emperor boss dragon fellow up here isn't the one that we took down last episode but i want to go and double check that because it could be a pretty cool fight um and then the dark watchman the giant rock golem that killed my little wolf and chased us through the jungle that one time I'd really want to take him down at some point. I don't know if we'll do that today, but it's on the cards. Uh, and all right, let's go check out one of these guys. 5975. Shouldn't take us too long to find one of those. 5975. I'm so going to forget that. <laughs> all right, should we take out our new little myth guy over here? Let's go. Let's take you out for a spin. Hey, let's see what you're made of. Uh, can I throw some levels into movement speed? Oh, you bet we can, but it's not, it's not many. Oh, boy, is it not many. All right, drink one of these, will you? Yeah, now we're talking. I'm going to forget the coordinates. 5975, 5975. Okay, we're good. All right, sweet. Now, take me to where I want to. You're not that much faster than I thought you were going to be. Dang, 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 dang. It shouldn't be too far away though, right? Oh, wow. It's, it's, it's quite a flight. Well, looks like I'm throwing another 100 levels into movement speed. You are going to be a speedy little demon. You know that? Whether you like it or not. There we go. 390 percent. <laughs> yeah, that's a little better. It's still not incredible. But I guess it's a start. I guess it's a start. So, I can't even remember what we're looking for. We're looking for a dragon, aren't we? A supposed dragon boss. I hear myself a demon saber beneath us. Don't like the sound of those guys. Or say, wait a second. It's leading me back to, like, roughly where I just fought. No, it's down this way. Okay, no, no, no. It's all good. All right. Oh, no, it is one of these guys again. Oh, we've got another two of these guys wild in our world. Uh, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. We're not going to be bothering with that one. Also, I've uh, I've read a few comments on my videos lately telling me about these Astrocetus guys. I told you I wanted to tame one. Well, not happening anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, how much damage? 121 million. Um, yeah, I told you guys I wanted to tame one of these guys up, well, at some stage this series. But unfortunately, due to the current status of the Ark Dev Kit, which is basically what the modders of these, um, of these mods have to use to mod the game uh and i think it was the there was an update to genesis that basically broke the current astrocetus and magma source taming mechanics at least as far as mods go so unfortunately uh neither of those can be tamed right now i think they can maybe be tamed but they can't be ridden or there's something to do with that so if anyone is wondering why we haven't done that just yet that is why okay so so now you know now you know Alrighty, so I don't know if this has been something I've I've completely just forgotten about, but for some reason, I didn't notice this until just today when I was cleaning out my inventory, okay? I, th th you guys might have seen this over a couple videos. I don't know. For some reason, I just didn't pay attention to it until today. Um, have a look at these. these. Do you guys notice any weird items in my inventory? Weird items that I've just never acknowledged for some silly reason? Yeah, these items up here. So these amazing item weapons, whatever you want to call them, are basically weapons that you get from the Pugnation mod upon defeating Ascension Dinosaurs. I have no idea how I forgot about these things here because I remember playing with them last series. I just completely forgot they were a thing. But let's check them out. Let's finally check out these amazing weapons. Uh, you got hammers, you got, you got axes, you got pickaxes, you got pikes. There's everything here. And all of this stuff does ridiculous amounts of damage, if I remember correctly. So this is going to be pretty darn cool. But let's have a look at what we've got here. Starting out with the Ascension Club, an enormous club with great power. This item is soulbound and cannot be removed, even upon death. So basically, I guess you can't drop... 
I'm pretty sure I just dropped it there. Wait, it's soul bound. But it was soul bound. Where did you go? I actually just dropped it. I pressed O and I, and, and I, dropped, I dropped the hammer. Wait, no. No. Now how are we going to test it out? I'm going to have to kill myself. Oh, well. Let's move on to the other stuff instead. The Ascension Hatchet uh, is able to hew multiple targets at once. Your attacks are very effective. Anyways, let's just load up a bunch of these into our hotbar. Uh, it looks like they actually stay up here. I've forgotten how these work, obviously, because I'm a little dummy. But um, have a little look at this. Look at this short. I don't know what this sword does, but let's let's go and pop out of the base. We can test it on something wild, like a thorny dragon, thorny devil, whatever these guys are called. 40,000 damage. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> this is the axe I was just talking about. No, that's a sickle. That's obviously not an axe, Miola. Definitely a sickle. Ton of fiber out of it. Damn. Uh, yeah, just fiber, though? Just fiber. Okay, so we don't get berries out of it. Uh, but that sword. Am I meant to read the descriptions on these? That's just a powerful sword. Okay. Uh, the sickle is just sickled. Uh, it was used by the most powerful farmer of all time, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> We've also got a pike, which is definitely my choice of weapon. I'm more of a more of a pike guy than a sword guy myself. So let's go and poke something. Oh, I can't attack the little baby raptor. Oh, he's so cute. Pegamastax, on the other hand. Perfect. Perfect. You just attacked the little raptor baby. Why aren't I not attacking you? Okay, we got him eventually, but that was a little bit weird. Interesting. Uh, we've also got this little cool pickaxe right here. Actually, we should do like the third person views of these weapons, right? So that's what the pikes look like. That's what's the... Nope, that's nothing. That's empty handed. That's food that I just ate. I just drank a potion for no reason. That's our sword. This is our amazing sickle. All right, now let's check out our pickaxe. Yeah. All right. I'm assuming it's just going to give us a ton of stone. Boom. Not bad. I guess like a one shot axe. Um, and then, last but not least... Well, it's actually not last but not least. Anyways, this is the axe. The axe of truth. I don't know. Um, it's obviously just a fantastic axe. And they all look super duper cool, which is all that matters at the end of the day. And last but not least, we actually have a whip. Uh, oh, yeah. Not including the hammer that I accidentally dropped stupidly. Um, the whip. I actually don't know what the whip does, but I assume you whip stuff with it, right? Oh, damn. You set things on fire. <laughs> nice. I assume I can harvest berries, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Not that I would ever use this to harvest berries, but it's cool nonetheless. Good to know. Good to know. So I'm glad I finally got to look into this. I completely didn't realize they were even a thing until today. I I don't even know. I don't even know how I like to notice that. They're literally just staring at me in my inventory. But I think what I want to do right now is I want to go and take on the Ascension Manticore just to see if we get even more of these weapons. Or maybe I get my hammer back. I, I don't know. Um... Worth the show. Oh, I just dropped all of those. It said that they're bound by soul, though. Yet I dropped them all. All right, we're going to have to check that out at another point, I suppose. <laughs> but for now, let's go and take on another Ascension boss. This time around, it's going to be the Manticore, I believe. Which means we're going to have to be very strategic about our dinosaur choice here. The Manticore, obviously, is going to deal poison. I don't feel like dealing with poison. As we learnt accidentally while taking on the Ascension Broodmother, the Kraken here is immune to poison. So logically, I think we're taking the Kraken in with this battle. Kraken, my friend. Let's go, buddy. You've been a fantastic teammate up until now um, for the one battle that we used you for before we parked you over there for an eternity. Uh, let's go and take you over to our little arena. Hopefully not die to the Demon Saber that was waiting for us last time. I don't know where he went. He's still out here somewhere, though. There is a Demon Saber... With my name on him. Well, not my name on him. With, I, he has my name. He has... He's got my, my death warrant. He wants to kill me, okay? Is what I'm trying to say. And he got away with it last episode. We're not letting that happen again. Um, Was it last episode? I think it was last episode. Anyways, let's throw down our arena. I like this as an arena location. Uh, we... Um, oh! Oh, Chaos Wyvern! Oh, there he is! Oh, hello! Oh, you reckon I should try and tame him while we're here? pretty good opportunity hold on hold on hold on i hope he's not wild like well he's obviously wild but I, I hope he's just like an easy passive tame um please don't kill me i don't know if he's aggressive or not also okay there they are i was like where are my bells go all right buddy buddy chaos wyvern not the chaos not to be mistaken with the chaos wyvern from the primal fear mod this is a different type of chaos wyvern but chaos wyvern come on buddy come here come here come here, come here. he just landed he wants to be tamed he wants to be tamed he's waiting for me let's go Eat my, eat my berry. There we go. The myth of chaos wyvern has been tamed. Another third level myth god creature. 
Nice. I don't know what he's capable of, but I assume it's a lot. He's got to be powerful. All of these guys are powerful. All right, how is there nothing in this water for me to kill? Kakanos. Hey, there we go. 163 million damage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to teleport you over to... Can I just harvest that dead body of mine? That's literally right where we died last episode. When we died to that stinking demon saber. The one who vanished into thin air. All right, let me just... There's a lot of noise going on over here. Oh, it's you running that makes all the noise. Fair enough. Do you have any crazy attacks? Yeah, just a little swipe rooney attack. All right, I'm going to send you to Myth Mountain. Uh, I don't want to send myself to Myth Mountain. I just want to send you to Myth Mountain. Uh, beam, not beam me. Beam, beam him up, Scotty. There we go. All right, he's gone. Cool. Let's get on with this. Let's take down the Ascension Manticore, the second to last of the Ascension bosses. I can't believe we're this far already. I honestly can't believe we're this far already. We're literally nearly at the end of the Pugnation mod. It's so sad, but hey. In every series it comes, it comes a lot quicker than you expect it to, but let's do this thing. Get the Ascension Manticore summoned up and let's get our booties away from him. There he is. <laughs> they always summon so derpy looking. I think it's purely just got to do with my world having so many different textures and uh, just, it's just got a lot of things going on in it right now that it just can't handle it. Uh, Manticore, where you going, buddy? Uh, wait a second. Oh, good. I was going to say, is he, got, is he about to fly straight through the barrier? He nearly did. He tried to. Now I'm going to get his attention. Well, not going to waste any time. Wait, don't you have? Oh, no, I don't have my plant attack. I was trying to use my plant's ranged attack, but obviously I'm not in my, I'm not using my plant. So come on, buddy. Fight me. Let's do this thing, big guy. Let's do this thing. So 165 million health we have to take down. Lucky for us. Oh, apparently we don't want to get hit by these little electric towers or fire towers or whatever they are whenever we're fighting him towers. Um, they're not good. They're not good at all. So, yeah, we're going to keep it nice and central. It looks like Manscore doesn't have his whole... With the dragon's head spasm snap necker attack. Neck snapper attack. Gosh, I can't even speak the right way around today. I don't even know what's going on. But we should have this in the bag quite easily. Well, with, with, with the help of a couple potions, of course. Otherwise... We would have absolutely no chance at all. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Bring it on. He actually deals a chunk of damage. Yeah, you wouldn't want to take this guy on with anything other than like a Pugnacia boss of your own. Otherwise, you got no chance. 165 million health. And you'd be dealing 140,000 damage a hit. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, we're good. We should be safe. As long as they keep an eye on our health, which doesn't seem to be dropping overly quickly. And as long as we keep an eye on... Well, yeah, well, that's it, really. Just got to make sure we keep smashing down these potions and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my eyes off the health. I want to zoom out. I want to get a nice old, like, view from a, from, a, from a bit of a distance. It's so much nicer to look at it from out here rather than just having your screen covered in numbers. I mean, come on, look at that. It's hideous. But we can just check it every now and then, so it's all good. 100 million to go, no. 60. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, 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 we were. You just summon a set. Oh, gosh. He summoned an army of sandworms on me. Okay, this isn't... Wait, what? Now? Okay. Surely I've got like a, a... Yeah, there we go. All right. We do. We've got like a right-click kind of area of effect attack. So just dropping that attack wiped out everything around us. Man, the Kraken is like built for this battle. He's literally perfect. He takes down the Manticore's minions. He takes down the Manticore just easy as well. Man, we good. We good. You can't do a thing about it. 70 million health remains. We are just over halfway. We're nearly there. Three quarters of the way. 40 million health to go. My finger's getting sore. So hopefully, hopefully we can get this over and done with sooner rather than later. Um, but we are, we are in the closing moments here. I'm going to drop one more health potion. I just realized we got wiped. Well, nearly, nearly got wiped out there. Uh, we were down to a quarter health ourselves. We got some more death worms to deal with. Let me drop my old area of effect. Area. No, it's not actually hurting him. Well, he stupidly just ran around to the front of my face. It's kind of like he was like, yo, look at me. Hit me. Well, I did. We did indeed. Anyways, 15 million left. Only about 10 seconds left in this battle. Maybe, maybe a few more. Maybe about 20 seconds left. 10 million, 9 million, 
8 million, 7 million, 6 million, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you, my friend, have been conquered. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. All right. All right. And he dropped a bunch of candies for us, too, but... I think I've already got a bunch of them back at the base. So let's have a little look at what we got out of that. I wasn't paying attention to what ended up, up in our inventory. So it's only going to be a surprise for some. We got a Yes, the third track sacrifice. Nice, 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 nice. And of course, we got ourselves the Ascension Manticore Quill, which is the final of the sacrifices to get us the Ascension. The final Ascension boss, which we've never actually discussed. <gasps> Drum roll, please. The Hippopotamus. That's right. The Ascendant Hippo is the final boss. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys actually knew that. If you've seen this mod before, you'd know that. But if you've never actually seen a full playthrough of the Pugnation mod, then uh, there's no way you would know that the final boss of the Pugnation mod is indeed a hippo. Yeah, I know. It's a bizarre, it's a bizarre situation, but uh, yeah, I guess it, it makes sense. I remember I was still shocked the first time I came across a wild hippo. It was kind of, it was a bizarre situation. Anyways, let's go and park you over here, Kraken dude. You've done well today, my friend. You've done fantastically. But we have ourselves a new... Well, we're going to have ourselves a new Lord Zuko to sacrifice, actually. Last episode, we actually got a lot of these shards up and running. In fact, I'm going to go and set up uh, a few more to go right this second. Uh, that way, we can get two of these guys going. I don't know how many... Oh, damn, we got a lot. Actually, we should have about a thousand. That's, that's good. That's good. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to clone my, my boy, my primeval Phoenix Lord Zuko over here um, for obvious reasons. Sacrificial reasons, of course. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Wait, no. Uh, yep, we're good. Yep. Pull across every shard. Oh, dang it. All right, I pulled a dumb move. I pulled a dumb move. We should have done that first. You can only pull shards across. Well, you can't pull, you can't pull items and if, if the thing's crafting. So I have to go and stop that, basically. That's a little bit annoying. Should have done it the other way around. I never learn. Like, that is a common error that I make. It's a common mistake. I should know better. What can I say? Element shards, though. Let's just pull absolutely everything. And let's get you cloned, buddy. Let's get you... Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. All right. So that's going to take about three minutes. Two minutes, 47 seconds. While that's happening, now I'm going to go and set this thing here to clone up some shards. And then we are finally going to be sacrificing... Um, well, we're finally going to be getting the third track, the, the Pugnacia boss that I keep forgetting about. Yeah, this is the one that I, I we never took down when we went on our Pugnacia boss killing spree. Um, yeah, I just always forget. Oh, snap, and I just realized something. We completely forgot to check out our Pugnacia Bible. Do I have a Bible on me? I don't think I do. I think I've got to craft one up. I always drop it for some reason, and then I go looking for it every single time. So we've obviously taken down two Pugnacia bosses since we last checked this. We now have ourselves the Journeyman Ascension buff. This will provide you with a permanent buff that gives you a large amount of soulbound weapons. Oh, that's how it works. <laughs> so it was only last episode that we unlocked all of those soulbound weapons and tools that do not weigh anything and cannot break. You will not lose them upon dying and most will have area of effect damage. If you are not using a Pugnation player pawn, yada, 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 yada. So that's what we got last episode. I completely forgot to check that. That's why we didn't recognize that we had them in our inventory. It would have just been at the end of the episode-ish, midway through. No, no, that would have been there the entire episode. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely blind. Um, but then we, we should also have us one more of these. I'm just trying to think how I search for it. It will be, uh, what would be, uh, if I just type in buff, it'll show me, right? Mastercraft. This would be the one that we just unlocked. This would provide you with a permanent buff that would give you a shield upon taking damage for 10 seconds. This has a 120 second cooldown. If you are not using a Pugnation player, this would put a pawn. Blah, 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 blah. So, let's go and test that out. Let me just drop down here. These darn Fiomias. I died to one of you a very long time ago, but this time around, I got a shield and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how long does this last for? Only 10 seconds, right? Oh, oh, I should have, I should have kept one of my, I should have kept one of my uh, soulbound weapons on me and then it could have protected me. Anyways, you're dead. No, you're not. Wait, you got a lot of health. Snap. Either way, I killed uh, this poor fella right here. We've got a frozen soul out of it, so that's quite juicy. Nice, 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 nice. 
And I think it said it's got like 120 second cooldown. So we've got a little bit of a wait, but that's A-OK. -okay. Still haven't been able to find Firequacker. Not Firequacker. Did I say Mr. Quack? Mr. Quackers, not Firequacker. Anyways, how you doing there, buddy? Are you close yet or what? Nine seconds left. Oh, perfect timing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me your clone. I feel so bad for Lord Zuko. We literally just use him as a pawn to sacrifice. <laughs> At least we know which one the original is and which one is the clone. Otherwise, it'd be a little bit sad. Anyways, man, our base is slowly being overrun by phoenixes. I hope our, I hope the dude up there doesn't like... I hope he's not watching us sacrifice his little brothers literally every few days. But uh, let's do this thing. Let's sacrifice my dude here for... The third track in three, two, one, go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. So we now have ourselves the third track for the first time. And with that, we also actually, you know what I'm going to do real quick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go and get you cloned up again. Do I have, do I have? Yeah. All right. Let's get him cloned up. Then we can get Mr. Fister as well. So we are getting super duper close to having one of each and every one of the Pugnacia bosses, as you can see. Um, we've got, well, we've got four now. And once Mr. Fist is crafted up, that's going to be five. Then I think we're just missing Tempest. Uh, we're missing Spinebreaker, of course. Oh, and our Elemental Titan. And is that it? I feel like there's one I'm forgetting, but those are the three main... I should go and I should go and have a look. But either way, we have ourselves the third track. Let's go and show you guys what he is made of. This guy's actually really, really cool. And I didn't, I didn't realize this while I was fighting him. But he's got some crazy attacks. Well, at least they look crazy. Um, so I don't know if you guys know the the animation that the track does when you level him up. He does this. Does this little jump around type thing. When I use his attack. That's not the attack I was talking about. This one, maybe? No. Yeah, there he goes. His C attack does his little like animation. And like, imagine running into a track in the wild. And it does that little like bounce around like he's gonna like, oh. That'd be so that'd be so intimidating. Either way, though, his right-click attack, I believe, summoned in all of these little guys around me. The third track, because he is the third track. The first and second track died. The doomed children. Oh, that's kind of kind of sad. So basically, I think he uses the little like the little track heads. Maybe they're his children. The little track heads on his on his helmet, on his on his horns there. I think he uses those to summon in his children, which is kind of sad when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, that's the attack. Imagine, right, you run into a track in the wild. You attack him, and then he'd be doing he'd be doing he'd be dropping this bomb on you. His little bounce around like he's gonna like he's getting hyped up, he's getting amped up, he's gonna rip you to shreds. Yeah, that's what that's what he's all about. Anyways, let's go and park him next to the rest of our Pugnesia boys over here. That makes it four out of well, we got to go and work that one there out, don't we? Um, and we're going to have five in a second. So you'll chill over there for a second. There's got to be a boss that I'm forgetting. It just has to be. Who am I? Who is it? Who, like, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, actually, we can just do it here. We've got Mothra. We've got the plant. We've got him. We need Spinebreaker. We're about to have Mr. Fister. We've got the Kraken. It's just the element. Oh, wow. It's just the elemental Titan, Tempest, and Spinebreaker. Three bosses that we've had. Um, and they've all died. <laughs> they've all died their own ways. So you close, buddy. 21 seconds left, and we're going to have another sacrifice. So that's a ripper and a half. Um, oh, man. I still can't believe we lost all of those guys. I'm trying to think. Where did we lose them all again? I lost Tempest to fighting Spinebreaker, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember where Spinebreaker died. Where did Spinebreaker die? Did he die to the drone that turned on us? Our little friend that turned on us and killed half our dinosaurs i know that's definitely how we lost the elemental titan i just cannot remember how we lost Spinebreaker. oh well it's all good uh lord zuko clone what are you like the seventh one uh sorry about this my friend but uh, i'm turning you into a human i know kind of messed up but let's do it that's kind of what happens from phoenixes right they they die to a pile of ashes and a new life is born from them and this time around it's mr fist of the destroyer all right buddy well, we've already tested you out, so there's, there's not a whole lot to learn about you. So let's just go and drop you over here amongst the rest of the Pugnacia bosses. And now we've only got two remaining left to go. So that's pretty darn cool. Yeah, we like collecting the whole squad. I actually didn't expect to do that. 
But I guess, um, well, that, that was based, well, that was before we found out that taking down the Ascension bosses ends up summoning these guys in. So that actually worked out quite well. But I think we're going to end this one right here, guys. I think we're going to end this one right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Oh, come on. That's not what we do. All right, then. Bye. Bye. For now.